Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session we have seen how to install the operating system. So in this session we will see what are the language translators. So how many ways we can interact with the system, how many languages are there. So there are mainly three languages, one is machine language. assembly language high level language so in these different languages we can communicate with the system right so system can only understand the binary language the system can understand only the binary language so what is this binary language means anything should be represented in two bits two bits the combination of two bits that is zeros or ones so whatever the instructions we are giving the instructions will be represented in terms of either zeros or ones so that's why we call it as a binary language that means everything will be represented by using two bits so binary means two so this is called a binary language and the same thing we'll call it as a machine language so machine language is a language which can be understood by the machine right so this is the string of zeros and ones, zeros and ones. Now what about this assembly language? So assembly language means here there will be mnemonics, mnemonics. Mnemonics means a few English words will be given to represent some, some kind of uh, zeros and ones, right? For example, there, there will be an instruction called read so that implies to take the input and print this is the mnemonic to print the output and similarly there is a mnemonic called add to add to perform the addition right similarly subtraction subtraction and then similarly increment increment right so all these are the a few words few words can be written in english so these are called the mnemonics so some of the instructions can be given with the help of these mnemonics in this assembly language right and coming to the high level language so completely in english that means some high level language will be used to represent the instructions so whatever the instructions we are giving those instructions can be written in some language right so example we can go with the c++ java and all these programming languages will be represented in english because the user can't represent the instructions in the form of zeros and ones which the system understands right so for that purpose the user will create a program or will set the instructions with the help of the convenient language so by using any one of the programming languages right so these are the different languages that we can communicate with the system so through the machine language assembly language or high level language but the system will understand only the machine language that is the combination of zeros and ones right so whatever the data whatever the code we are writing by using the high level language is called source code source code the code written in high level language that means user understandable language is called source code and now the next step is we need to convert this source code to the machine language because machine can't understand this language right so we need to convert this source code to the machine language that is called object code object code so here in the object code the representation of a string will be in terms of zeros and ones right so in order to translate one from one form to another form we require some language interpreters right so translators we'll use the translators so apart from these languages so we write the instructions using one among these things so we can't write the instructions using the machine language we can write the instructions using assembly language or high level language and the next step is we need to convert these source code to machine code that means object code so for the translation there will be some language translators 
so language translators so here the translators are of different types right so one is interpreter or uh, yeah right interpreter another one is compiler another one is assembler assembler so these are all the three types of language translators so the user can give the instructions by using one among the languages so assembly language or uh, the high level language and that will be converted by using these translators okay source code will be converted to machine code by using these translators so interpreter it converts to machine code source code to machine code right source code to machine code machine code or object code right by line by line that means the instruction by instruction will be translated right so first first instruction will be taken and that instructions will be converted to source uh, machine code and then only the second instruction from the source code will be converted to machine code right line by line translation will be done in interpreters so best example for the, this interpreter is python language so python will use the interpreter so it will uh, translate a line by line okay and the com compiler compiler is also used to translate the high level language to low level language or machine code so again this is also converts source code to machine code but using a complete program complete program so all the instructions will be given at a time to the compiler so that it will convert into machine code right so here it is a line by line here, here it is a complete program so here we can go with the c++ c++ is a compiler it use a compiler right so example for compiler c or c++ whatever it may be right so entire program will give as input so that we'll get the object code next assembler assembler means we have, we have discussed the assembly language so in order to convert assembly language assembly language to machine language machine language so this assembler that means the code will be having some mnemonics right so that mnemonics will be converted i mean those instructions which are written in assembly language will be converted to machine language right so machine code assembly code to machine code so for that conversion we'll use the term called translator called assembler so these are the three different language translators right so we can give the instructions by using either assembly language or the high level language and if you are writing in either assembly or uh, uh, this high level language we need to translate that and those that translators are interpreter compiler or assembler so if it is a high level language that can be done that can be translated with the help of either interpreter or a compiler okay if it is a assembly language that can be converted by using assembler right so these are all the language translators Lang language translators so in this session we have seen different languages and language translators so we'll stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely we'll try to clarify all your doubts if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much